Hey you guys, um, I've got these new Doritos minis I've been wanting to try. My husband already opened these, but I'm still going to try them. I haven't opened these, and I'm going to compare them to the originals. Okay, let's just start with the original Doritos. What we got here? These are in the little mini bags, which if you know anything about Doritos, I think they're better than the big bag of Doritos. Maybe I'm crazy. That's what I like. The little mini bags. Sorry, you're listening to me chew. That's delicious. <laughs> okay, let's try these mini Doritos. I'm so mad my husband opened them. He knew these were for a video. He gave some to my dog. <clears throat> these are better. I need some water. <clears throat> I don't have any water. <laughs> These are much better. I wonder what's different. Oh. Okay. First, I thought they were just like broken. They're not. They're little tiny triangles. I think they're thinner than the original Doritos. They're microscopically thinner. I wonder if that's why I get so much more flavor. Because I'm getting less of the tortilla taste. That's so good. That's really good. Okay. I think mini Oreos are better than large Oreos. And now I think the mini Doritos are better than the large Doritos. I don't think you can go wrong with mini products. Okay. Let's get into the ranch ones. Now, cheese Doritos, I think, go great with sandwiches. You know, turkey sandwiches, peanut butter and jelly, a hamburger. I think you can do about anything with Doritos. But to me, ranch Doritos aren't something that you eat with, like, a sandwich or a burger or anything. These are a snack on its own. Like... You sit down to watch TV, drink a Pepsi or Coke, whatever you are. You know, I thought I was a Pepsi person for a while. I think I'm turning into a Coke girl again. My husband is a Mountain Dew guy. But you would sit down and eat these alone while watching a movie. And then maybe some Oreos. Yes, I'm fat. I'm aware. Okay. Boop. Okay. Open these. Pair of these. The can smells interesting. These smell stronger. The can smells stronger. Okay, let's try a regular one. Can't be mad about that. It's good. Okay, I just feel like I'm just sitting here eating. <laughs> like I shouldn't have popped in the rest of that chip. I should have went for the new stuff to tell you. But I'm just enjoying myself. I'm liking the bag better, but I'm not sure why. Okay, that one was good. Maybe. Like, okay, look at this big one. I, it's got, I don't know if you can tell, has tons of flavor on it. Whereas the average one of these don't have as much flavor as the bagged one 
So maybe it's just a surface area thing. Where these are tiny triangles, you're not getting these pockets of really good flavor on as much of the chips. I felt like the nacho ones were fully covered. Whereas, you know, with ranch, they'll have like pockets of flavor that'll be on different parts of the chip. And it's like these chips are all so tiny. They don't have the large pockets of flavor. Hmm. Canned is not the best. Bagged for the win on ranch Doritos. So if you're gonna buy Doritos for like your kid's snack at school or something, for the cheese ones, get those little tiny mini ones. They're gonna love them. But for between the ranch, the canned, and the bag, bag. I have a new YouTube channel for my jewelry business. It's called Vagrant Charms. I make coin jewelry. I make coin rings. I make bells. I make leather earrings. I make wire wrapped crystal pendants. I make resin jewelry with dried flowers in it. And some of you might really like my jewelry. I sell locally and I sell online. But even if you have no intention of ever buying jewelry, if that's not your thing, just subscribing to my YouTube channel would be such a help to me. If you could share a video, like a video, just in subscribing, that would just be such a help to my new jewelry business. Thank you.